Good Monday morning, everybody! Welcome to a crochet along live here at the Jaden Stitches Show. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. It is the giant countdown to Christmas. It is the craftiest week of the year, in my opinion. This is the week that uh, I think a lot of us sort of hunker down and try to get as much of our crafting done as possible for gifts. But then the following week, I would hope we all have a chance to sort of put our feet up and make a few things for ourselves. Um, at least that's the plan. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for being here today on this Monday. We are going to make our little snowman candy cane holder today. Um, we created this pattern when we made the gingerbread man and we also had the little reindeer um, that we did on a live stream a couple weeks ago now. And a lot of you have asked us to do a tutorial on this little guy. So not only am I going to do a tutorial on our little snowman candy cane holder description box, um, just so you don't have to kind of fast forward through the whole thing if you're looking for something specific. So that's what I'm going to give uh, a little technical try to today. Um, Mr. and Stitches is in the house. Hello everyone. It looks like we're losing connection again. Really? Yeah. Um, it looks fine on my end. Yeah, you can see it on yeah, your end. Yeah. So maybe, All maybe right, just well. uh, well, if um, if you're having a problem, just just uh, refresh the the feed because it seems to be working over here. So okay. as long as you can we sort of hear back. us. Spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back. All right. Um, I'm back. I hope you're all back. It's just a little bit of light buffering. Um, it's kind of a very breezy day here today. And if it's really breezy where you are, that might interfere with the internet connection. So um, as long as we don't completely blank right out, I think we'll be fine. So here we go. Um, we are going to make the snowman candy cane holder. I'm going to run through everything I've got on the table here today. Um, we're going to want acrylic yarn. I'm using acrylic. You could really use anything you want for these guys in terms of like fiber. So you could use cotton, you could use wool. If you've got some scraps left over, you don't really need very much. Less than 20 yards of white, a couple yards, maybe three yards of black for his hat and his little smile and just um, like a half yard of orange, just a little scrap of it, um, just for his little nose. I've also got some beads. So this is my little bead container. Um, I'm using five millimeter round beads. So if you are searching for these online, you want to look for round five millimeter beads. I did find a package of these at Walmart ages ago um, in the kids crafting section. Never overlook the kids crafting section. They have all kinds of great little crafting uh, paraphernalia in there. So I'm gonna be using some beads, but I'm gonna be using slightly larger ones today. So these guys are the five millimeter, um, but I'm gonna use these slightly larger ones that I've got in here just cause I've got uh, five of them. And um, you need four or five. So two for the eyes and a couple for his buttons. You could use more buttons if you want, but I'm gonna go with two buttons and two eyes. A um, couple of candy canes and a little bit of ribbon. So a little bit of ribbon to create a holder out of. I've got a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, um, sewing needle and thread. That's so I can attach his eyes and his little buttons. Stitch marker can be very helpful for these small projects. And the hook, I'm using a four and a half millimeter. This is a size seven, uh, seven in the UK, seven in the US apparently. So four and a half millimeter hook. That seems to work really nicely with my size for medium weight yarn. Okay, there are uh, two parts to the main build of the snowman. We make a back and we make a front. They're identical. The only difference is, is that on uh, item part number two or side two, you just leave a long tail so that we can stitch them up. Um, his little hat is made all in one go and then we flatten it and we sew it using a running stitch to the top of his head. And you're really just working through those top couple of stitches along his head. So you can sort of just barely see where I've stitched through there. Um, so a couple people who have made this from the pattern were asking about the hat. So we're going to talk about adding on the hat. Um, I will be showing you how to make the hat in a bright color. I've already made his little hat, but I'm going to demonstrate the hat using a brighter color so you can really see what I'm doing today. Um, and then a little bit of applique and sewing on some beads and that's it. So let's get started. I'm going to just move some of my things out of the way. 
And I'm going to start with my white yarn. I'm going to put these guys just to the side here so you can see what I'm up to and they don't interfere with what I'm doing. And let's get, get my yarn going here. No, where's the one end I want? That's the one end I want. Okay. All right, we are going to begin with a cinch circle. The cinch circle is a good choice for this project because we don't want a space in the middle of his face. <laughs> so we just make a loop. I like to wind the yarn around my finger. Hook goes through the loop, grab the yarn, pick it up and chain one. And that secures your circle. We're going to begin with eight single crochet into the cinch circle. So the snowman is built very similarly to our gingerbread man. So if you need to sort of see a quick recap of the, um, the build of the body, it's very, very similar to the gingerbread man. And we have a tutorial for that. And I'll make sure that one's linked in the description box after today's live stream. You just want eight single crochet worked into that little cinch circle. And once you have eight, grab the little short tail, cinch it up nice and tight. And this way we will not have a face with a hole in the middle of it. <laughs> now you can leave your tail to the back or you can work over top of it. I'm going to work over top of mine just so it's not, um, not kind of in my way. And it's one less thing I have to do. I don't need to like worry about weaving it in afterwards. I'm going to give myself a little slack here on the yarn. Okay, in row two, we're just going to double things up. We're going to work two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're going to go from eight stitches to 16. We're not joining our rows with a slip stitch. We are just working in the round. This way we don't have any seams running through the head of our snowman. I'm going to work the first two stitches into that first stitch of what was row one. I'm going to mark out the very first stitch that I made for row two so that I don't have to think too much. And I just have to focus on working two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Welcome everybody. If you are just joining us today, we've got our little snowman candy cane holder pattern on deck today. That's also the sneaky sale in our Etsy shop. Um, and a gigantic thank you to everybody who's gone and picked it up already. I really appreciate it. It is a blustery day out there. So, if, uh, if we suddenly just drop right off <laughs> and the internet ends, then that's probably why. <laughs> Two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. That gives us 16 in total. And I'm back to where I started. We've got one more row of increasing to do. So row three, we're going to go from 16 stitches up to 24. We're still not joining the row. I'm going to work two single crochet into the very first stitch of what was row two. Those become the first two stitches of row three. I'm going to mark the first stitch and then it's one single crochet into the next stitch. So the little pattern is two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, all the way around. And that brings us up to 24 stitches in total. Got one more repeat of that little increase pattern, two single crochet in the first stitch of the set, followed by one single crochet. I don't need my stitch marker anymore. And I am up to 24 stitches. That concludes row three. Now, just to even up the circle a little bit, every time you increase, you always, every uh, row that you increase, you end up one stitch further back from kind of where you started. So if you look at the center of your little increasing circle and you can see where it turns into row two you're probably finished your row a little bit further back so i always like to just single crochet i'm going to do this three times single crochet into each of the next three stitches and that's one single crochet for each of the rows of increase i've done row one row two row three that's three stitches and that just basically brings me back up to 
even up the entire roundness of the circle. So I want a nice round circle. I don't want a circle that's kind of got a flat bottom, at least not yet. Um, for row four, we are going to start to add um, his little neck. So we're finished his head. We're going to build the neck and body directly onto it. Hi, Dars. Dars, thank you so much for picking up a pattern. We're going to build his body right onto his little head. So the first row uh, of that body part, row four, is going to be his neck. So we're going to actually flatten out the bottom of our circle, but with intention. <laughs> so right where we are, we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. That just finishes off the round circle of his head. We're going to chain one and half double crochet in the same place. So chain one and half double crochet into the same place that you just slip stitched into. You're going to single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So just single crochet because we are working across a circle and we want like a flat sort of piece. And then into the next stitch, we're going to half double crochet. So row four is very short. Chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, single crochet, single crochet, and then half double crochet. And that's his little neck. So that's the little neck underneath his chin. And now for the body, we're going to create that sort of rounded snowman shape. We're going to chain one and turn at the end of every single row of the body. So now we are turning and moving back and forth and back and forth. We're going to work two half double crochets into the first stitch. So we're using half double crochet now. We've completely moved away from single crochet. Half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two half double crochet into the last stitch. So we're increasing at the beginning and the end of the row. So that gives us six stitches, two half double crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet, two half double crochet. So at the end of row five, we'll have six stitches, chain one and turn. And we're going to kind of repeat that similar uh, pattern. We're going to work two half double crochet into the first stitch. We're going to half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then the last stitch, when you're chain one and turning using the half double crochet stitch, it sometimes pulls that last little stitch just down the edge a little bit, so you don't want to miss it. Half double crochet into each of the next four. And then two half double crochet into the last stitch of the row. So you're increasing at the beginning and the end of the row again. That's row six. We're up to eight stitches. Chain one turn. I'm going to get myself a little slack on my yarn here. I'm just taking a second to check out the chat. Would you guys like us to do the angel version of this this week? Is that uh, is that a yay? I think so, yes. Angel um, candy cane Someone holder? was asking about that. We've sure. had lots of requests, actually. Yeah, I, um, I, I have a plan for little angel. So if you guys want to do that one, maybe we'll do that one tomorrow. Yeah? Um, because... <laughs> I mean, we got to complete this this little character set, don't we? <laughs> we need a sure. full set. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. We will do that tomorrow, everybody. Okay, so chain one turn. We're heading into row seven. For row seven, it's our last little row of increase. We're going to work two half double crochet in the first stitch, a half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. and two half double crochet to finish the row in the last stitch. So that brings us up to 10 stitches. That's the end of row seven. We're going to chain one turn. For row eight, we're just going to half double crochet in each of those 10 stitches all the way across. So you're always skipping your turning chain. Half double crochet in each of those 10 stitches. You'll still have 10 stitches at the end of row eight. Okay, that's a big yes from everybody. All right, wee! Resounding yes for the angel. All right, well then absolutely. You guys can make sure you have an extra set of candy canes ready for tomorrow and we will <laughs> make it angel. Don't eat them all. 
I think even the lurkers want the angel. <laughs> I think they came out to uh, to vote on that. <laughs> good, good. All right. Um, I will see if I can have a pattern written up too. Um, not making any promises. It's, it's a very busy week, as you all know, but I'll see what I can do. I am working on it, so... Uh, all right, we're heading into row nine. So that was row, t row eight. We have 10 stitches all the way across. We've got two rows left in the body. And now we want to make it a little rounder. As you kind of see, he's got like a little bit of a roundy effect. This is where he differs from the candy cane holder for the gingerbread man and for the reindeer. We want to make him look a little more rounded. So we are going to decrease now at the beginning and the end of each row. So we still chain one and turn. But now we're going to half double crochet the first two stitches together of the row. Then we're gonna half double crochet into each of the next six. And then we're gonna half double crochet the last two stitches of the row together. So half double crochet the first two stitches together, half double crochet regularly into each of the next six, the middle stitches, and then half double crochet the last two stitches together of the row. That brings us back down to eight chain one turn, and we're gonna repeat that little decrease pattern again. So we're gonna half double crochet the first two stitches of the row together, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then half double crochet the last two stitches of the row together. There we go. That's row 10. We're down to six stitches. That is one side complete. This is side one, so I'm just going to trim my yarn kind of regularly, fasten off, weave that tail in, and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing right here that I just did all over again for side two, but I'm just going to leave a longer tail on the back so that I can sew the two of the pieces together when I'm ready. And I'm just going to weave this tail in, and then I'm going to zip through side two. Good morning, Destiny. Thank you so much for gifting a membership. Destiny is the operating gift ninja this morning. <laughs> Swoops in with the first gift. Thank you so much. And Star has won it. Congratulations, Star. Welcome back. Just weaving in this tail and there. All done. So that is the right side front or the right side back, whichever I decide I like better, of snowman number three for me. I'm going to start the exact same part of the body all over again and then I will uh, stitch them together. So the only difference between side one and side two is that you leave a long tail on one of those pieces to do some stitching. So start with a cinch circle, eight single crochet into the circle, Cinch it up nice and tight. We do not want any holes in the head of our snowman. <laughs> We're not joining the row. We're just working directly into the next stitch. Two single crochet in each stitch all the way around to go from eight to 16. I'm gonna mark the first stitch of the row with a stitch marker. Hello, Marie. Marie, who's been a member for four months. Thank you so much, Marie. Marie says, happy holidays to everyone. I hope everyone has a safe and happy new year. Yes, I agree. I would like to second that. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you, Janine. Janine's just picked up a couple patterns at the shop. Thank you, thank you. So that's two single crochet in each stitch all the way around to get up to 16 stitches. And I marked that first stitch of the row so I don't really have to think about where it is. And I know I've finished the row when I get back around to it. There's a little bit of fluff. The mister and I just completed our Christmas food shopping yesterday. Mm -hmm. So the house is stocked full of food. So if you wonder why he's so quiet today, it's probably because he's got something in his mouth. I'm eating all <laughs> the candy that you purchased <laughs> and the donuts. 
Got 16 stitches for row two. Row three begins with two single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to mark the first stitch I hope stitch it again. lasts till Christmas. All I hope it does. Tasty food. I don't want you sneaking around in the middle of the night eating all my snacks, too. <laughs> single crochet once into the next stitch, and the pattern is two, one, two, one, all the way around. That brings us up to 24 stitches at the end of row three. Welcome, welcome. If you're just joining us, it is so nice that you guys are able to spend some time with us just before the uh, craziest, busiest time of the year. If you're traveling, I hope you're traveling safely. If you're uh, just staying home, I hope it is a wonderful, peaceful, and uh, delightful holiday, Christmas, whatever you might be celebrating, and that I hope, hope, hope for all of us that we get some craft time in, because that's my, this is my favorite time of year to do puzzles and some crafting. Hello, Tori. Tori's been a member for 39 months. Thank you so much, Tori, with a membership milestone. Tori says, where do you find your beads? Hard to find good ones. Um, I do my best to um, look anytime I'm in a store, like any store, the dollar store, Walmart, a department store, um, if I'm in a definitely a craft store, I always go to the bead section. And I just, you know, I give it as much attention as I would yarn. So if I'm I love beads. I've been collecting beads longer than I've been collecting yarn. Uh, I was really into making jewelry when I was a teenager. I absolutely love beads. So I'm, I'm always kind of drawn to the bead section. But like I was saying earlier in the live stream, um, these are, I love these. These are round five millimeter plastic beads. If you go on Amazon, for example, right now and search round five millimeter plastic beads, you will see several um, entries for this. Now I can't necessarily vouch for any of them, but it's pretty hard to mess up a round plastic bead. Like this is, this is, this is like kids crafting material. Um, I know I found this package at Walmart. So in the kids crafting section, always check the kids crafting section because frequently they have really nice plastic beads that are really great for little like projects like this. Um, your beads don't always have to be glass. At the dollar store, that craft section often has nice little packages of beads and don't overlook the cheap ones. I know I, I kind of bang on and on about cheap stuff, but <laughs> these are just cheap, simple little plastic beads and I love them. They're round. They came in a nice assortment of colors. There were a lot of, uh, a lot of each color. I've almost entirely used all the black ones up because I do so much crafting with them. Um, I, I've got white ones, off white ones, yellow, blue, red, and there were a bunch of black in this collection too. Oh, and there were some green ones. I think I used all my green ones. Um, and I mean, usually it's it's pretty cheap, like a buck or two for a little package of beads. And they come in really handy for little projects like this. So um, round plastic five millimeter beads, if you're searching online, if you're in store, check the bead section, check the kids crafting section, because if these aren't in the regular bead section, they'll be with the kids crafts. Uh, the end of row three, we'll have 24 stitches, but we do want to round up the, or sort of just finish up the row a little bit by rounding out the circle. So we're going to single crochet into each of those three stitches. Doesn't change the stitch count, just evens things up. So it's a little more circular. And now we're into the chin. So we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch just to sort of finish off that little circle. Chain one half double crochet into the same stitch. Single crochet in each of the next two stitches and half double crochet into the last stitch. So half double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, half double crochet. That's row four, that's the chin, or at least the little neck part. And now we start to increase. Chain one turn, we're turning at the end of every row now for the body. Two half double crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and two half double crochet in the last stitch to finish the row. That brings us up to six stitches. We are increasing. And I got a little knot here in my yarn. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's actually a knot in the yarn. How dare you? Well, let's make sure that's nice and tight and small and I will work over top of it. Okay, chain one turn. We're gonna increase again, two half double crochet to begin the row. I'm gonna have to bury these little ends here. Half double crochet in each of the next four stitches.
and two half double crochet in the last stitch. So this is row, row four, row five, row six we've completed. That brings us up to eight stitches at the end of row six. We're gonna chain one turn. We've got one more row of increasing to do, row seven. We start with two half double crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in each of the next six stitches and finish the row with two half double crochet in the last stitch. And that brings us up to 10, which is the most stitches we will have before we start to kind of round things out. Got a couple little, couple of little tiny knots here. There we go. Stitch not averted. And two half double crochet into the last stitch. So that's 10. We're going to chain one and turn for row eight. We're only half double crocheting across. So skip your turning chain. Always skip the turning chain. Half double crochet in each of those 10 stitches. You'll still have 10 stitches at the end of row eight. Mr. and Stitches, how is the technical end of everything running? Hello. Um, I think everything's okay. It kind of um, kind of settled into itself. Okay. Is it I'm safe not sure to run why a poll? We dropped out like when we started, but it's been stable since, and everyone is reporting clear, clear visuals and good sound. So, well, that's good news. Uh, do you it's, think it's it's probably the wind? Is it safe? Do you think to do a poll? I'll try. Yeah, let's give it a go. All right. Um, I would like to know: Do you have candy canes in the house? Yes or no? <laughs> That's row eight. We still have 10 stitches. We're going to decrease now for two rows on the end. That brings us back down to eight. That was row nine. Chain one turn for row 10, final row, and repeat that little decrease pattern. Half double crochet the first two stitches together. Half double crochet into each of the next four. And half double crochet the last two stitches of the row together. And that's row 10. We are down to six stitches. We are going to leave a long tail because this is what I'm going to sew my two pieces together with. So that's my sewing yarn. Otherwise, the two sides, front and back, are identical. And I can decide which one's going to be my front and which one's going to be back, my back. I think this is going to be my front and this one's going to be my back. Mr. and Stitches is going to get that pull running, and I'm going to have a sip of water. As soon as we had that conversation, it started to buffer. <laughs> but it's back, so it's it's um, it's only going to last a few seconds, if, if that's what you're seeing. Okay. All right, so that's my two body parts done, front and back, and now we're going to move on to the hat. So, um, my little snowman here is wearing a top hat. I've made one in black. That's what he's going to end up wearing. But just so I can demonstrate, I'm going to use a brighter color. And I am going to use red because I feel like that's a nice cheery color and you should still be able to see what I'm doing. And uh, the hat is only four rows. It's very, very short. It's just the tiniest little, kind of like think in terms of a thimble a little brim. You want this to be really, really small. You don't have to worry a whole heck of a lot about stitch count, but it's a little tiny. Oh, we're buffering. We're buffering again. You know yeah, what? I'd like gonna... to try something. Um, I'd like to restart the stream with, with some changed settings. You want to restart the stream? Yeah, because I'm just wondering if it's going to keep going on and off. Do you want to try or just keep going? I, I think we should we should keep going. Um, just because I'm I. Uh... All right, I'm gonna take the I'll take the poll down. And okay. Maybe that'll help. Yep, yeah, just end the poll. We won't bother with the polls. We'll just uh, we'll just hang out. We'll just sort of have people chit chat in the chat if I ask a question. Uh, no, Catherine, no cider today. I do have a fresh bucket of it. I haven't heated any up. I'm just sipping sipping. I was gonna make a cup of tea, but I finished um, my breakfast coffee. Uh, just as we got going, I and I thought, I'll just drink time. water for now. I think it's eggnog time. It is. Oh, we have eggnog. That's right. 
Yum. We have a rule here. From now on, this whole week is eggnog only. No <laughs> water, no coffee, no nothing. Only Just eggnog. eggnog. That sounds so Breakfast, good. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Blah. Even if you're really thirsty. <laughs> it's the Christmas spirit. It's it's Christmas diabetes for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have candy canes in the house? A quick poll with 97 votes. Yes, 60%. No, 39%. Well done. Okay, so <laughs> this is what I'm doing with my candy canes. I'm, I'm just dressing them up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're back. We're going we're gonna to skip having any more polls just in case it, it continues to bog down the system. And uh, we will just, if we have any questions to ask, we'll just have everybody sing out in the chat. So I'm gonna make my little hat. I'm gonna model it in red so you can see what I'm doing with my stitches. Let's go. Same hook, red yarn, but I would recommend black for his little top hat. We are gonna start with a cinch circle. So just like the face, cause we want the top of the hat to be tight and small. We don't want any spaces. When instead of doing eight though, we're only going to do six single crochet into that cinch circle. That's six single crochet into the little cinch circle. We're going to cinch it up nice and tightly. So this is the very top of his little hat. So this is this part right up here. We are not joining the rows with a slip stitch. We are just going to single crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So we're not increasing. We are going to single crochet directly into the first stitch. You can leave your tail to the inside or work over top of it. I'm going to work over top of it. We're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So it's small, but I'm still going to mark that first stitch of the row that I did, this one here, just so I know I've done all six. Because when you're working in a tiny little circle like this, it is sometimes easy to lose track of where you are because you're kind of paying attention to it being small. And it wants to start to curl, so let it curl. Just curl it away from you. There we go. So that's all six stitches in row two. I'm gonna take my little stitch marker out and we're gonna do that once more. So we're gonna single crochet in each stitch around for row three. I'm going to single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the second stitch, and I'm just gonna mark that first stitch I made. Hello, Lori. Lori with a super sticker. Thank you so much, Lori. Welcome to the party and thank you. What a cute little sticker. It's a little, it's a little laughing fox. <laughs> Aww. All right, that is a single crochet in each of the six stitches all the way around for row three. Same thing we wanna do with this little hat piece like we did with the head. We're going to single crochet into each of the next two stitches just to even it up. So you're not changing your stitch count or anything. You're just single crocheting into the next two stitches and that evens up the bottom of your hat. So it puts you back in alignment with where your first row turned into your second row. And it just should fit over top of your finger like a little, a little hat like this, like a little thimble. Now you can join with a slip stitch. So um, actually, you know what? You don't even need to do that. We're just gonna chain one we're gonna half double crochet twice into the same same stitch or into the next stitch. So this is really loosey-goosey. Whatever is comfortable for you, you don't have to join the row with a slip stitch for row three. Just chain one and half double crochet twice into the same place. And then you're just gonna half double crochet twice into each stitch all the way around. So you're going to try and get 12 half double crochets you had six stitches, you're gonna work two half double crochet into each stitch all the way around, but if you end up with 13 or 14 or 11, it doesn't matter. What you want to do is get this little brim effect going. We have a question from Lori. Sure. Do you have tips on keeping your cinch circle tight? My gingerbread girls had big holes in their heads. Yes, you want to pull it really, really tightly, really tightly. 
I like to work over top of my short tail, but if you're using like a slippery yarn or um, you feel that they, they find that they just kind of want to undo, sometimes our tensions vary. So if you have sort of a like a gentler, looser tension, then um, it might want to undo. It, it really shouldn't because it's the sliding, it, the sliding knot itself shouldn't want to come undone. But cinch it up nice and tight, grab that tail and then weave it back and forth um, through your stitches on the back side of whatever it is you did so for example this is the the back side don't work over top of your tail if you find that your circle wants to open back up again cinch it back up nice and tight and then weave your tail in back and forth back and forth back and forth underneath like three or four stitches and then it won't want to go anywhere and if it's really slippery yarn like it's a satiny yarn cinch it up nice and tight knot it so pull it underneath a nearby back of a stitch, knot it, then weave it in back and forth, back and forth, and it won't come undone anymore. Some of the slipperier yarns really want to like just keep moving. <laughs> all right, that should be 12 all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So at the end of row four, you should have 12. If you've got 13, 14, doesn't matter. You're just going to find the first half double crochet you made and join with a slip stitch. And then you're going to fasten off, leave a tail for sewing. And I've made myself a little red hat. I might add that little red hat to somebody down the road here. But um, obviously you can make your hat in any color you want. I've made one in black because I want my little snowman to have a little black top hat. But that is how you make the little hat. Make sure you leave that tail for sewing and you can put your hat to the side. And now we're going to do a little decorating. So before we add our two pieces together, we're going to decorate. We're going to put on his eyes, his nose, his little smile and his buttons. And it's just nice to kind of do all the decorating on the front before you stitch the whole thing together. So let's go ahead and do that. I am going to sew in his bead eyes and his buttons first, which means I need a sewing needle and thread. I have probably not enough thread here to do his eyes, so I'm going to cut myself a nice long piece of thread. I just realized I've been doing this entire tutorial without my glasses on. I just realized I couldn't see the thread and that's why. So hang on one second, guys. I'm going to grab my glasses. You did that last week. I did that last week. I got so excited about what we were doing. Come here, glasses. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, it's night and day. I can see again. Okay, so I've threaded up the needle and I did that without my glasses on. Ha ha! Point for Jada. <laughs> Jada wins today. I'm going to use um, some of these, these bigger beads that I've got in my little stash because I've run out of the small black ones, but they're only a little bit bigger than these guys. So these are five millimeters. These guys are probably nine or ten. You know what? Let me, let me measure. Um, so you can, yeah, they are about eight millimeter, seven or eight millimeters. So they're only a little bit bigger than these ones and they're a bit shiny. So I'm going to use them today. It's going to change the look of my snowman just a teensy bit, but not too much. He's actually going to be maybe a little cuter with the bigger eyes. So I'm going to sew my eyes on either side of what is row one. And I'm going to anchor my yarn on the, or my thread, I should say on the back of the head. So I'm just going to run my needle through this sort of thread and there we go make sure it's secured bring my needle back through to the front and I'm going to put eyeball in here number one find the little hole make sure it goes all the way through and this is a wider bead than I was using before. So I want to make sure I am not sewing, I'm not coming in and going back down through the fabric too close together so that my, my bead has a chance to sort of sit properly. 
and I'm going to sew that down once more, maybe twice more before I go and sew down the other eye. Nothing fancy here. And these are slightly heavier, so I'm going to make sure I go through at least three times. There we go. There's eyeball number one. And then I'm going to go sew on the other one directly opposite it. See everybody discussing eggnog. We watched a little history of eggnog video last night on YouTube, which was really fun. Um, it is a bonkers kind of drink. Uh, it looks like a lot of different cultures have different ver versions of it, but they all mostly have the same thing in common. There's milk and eggs in it, uh, but some of them are alcoholic. Um, some of them have slightly different spices in it. Um, some people use cream and milk and eggs. Some people use, um, some people swear by brandy. Some people use rum. Uh, we've seen uh, eggnog. I have a girlfriend who's from Jamaica and her mom makes an eggnog with Guinness, like a beer-based eggnog, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, the eggnog kind of like varies depending on where you're from, but it's, uh, it's, it's a universe. It seems to be like a universally adored Christmas beverage. So it's definitely bever it's a it's a Christmassy beverage because it's because of the spices like those fallish spices the nutmeg the cinnamon um, the maybe the star anise depending on on what it is that you you put in it but um, I don't know any way you mix it it sounds delicious to me <laughs> all right there's his little eyes on I'm gonna knot my thread on the back here. All right, and I'm going to snip that, and now I'm going to repeat the same thing a little further down for his buttons. So I think I've got enough thread left. I've got enough for one anyway. And same thing, I sort of separated his buttons. I have them across, this is row six and row eight that I've kind of put them in the middle of. So I think I'm going to do the, the same thing down here. So I'm going to just attach the thread to the back bring it out to the front and if I can only get one sewn on with what th thread I have left then that's fine I'll do that and then I'll just re-thread my needle for number two so Sarah has a good uh, question here yeah? if you're not into candy canes do you have any ideas of how to make this little snowman Oh, heck yeah. Maybe maybe a little larger and stuffed. You could do that, but um, you can also just use pipe cleaners. Um, pipe cleaners. There's a couple of people. I think we even posted one of the community members used pipe cleaners in her. She took red and white or green and white. Of course. And she twisted them together into this shape and used pipe cleaners because she was sending hers in the mail to her mom. And she knew the pipe cleaners would... would would um, travel in the mail better mm -hmm. than possibly smashing candy canes. And you so, could use eggnog as stuffing. Maybe. Pipe cleaners. Um, you know what? I've even got pipe cleaners. Let me let me go and get some pipe cleaners. As soon as I've got my buttons on, I'm gonna go get my pipe cleaners, and I'll show you what that looks like. What What did you just say, Mister? I said you could use eggnog as stuffing. <laughs> Your entire Christmas tree will smell of eggnog. You've got eggnog on the brain now. Yeah, I you? do. I'm thinking of having some eggnog. Yeah, Am I well, allowed yeah. to have some of your eggnog? Can you shake it before you open it? And, do uh, I have to share it with you? And pour me some in a pretty glass. Oh, you please. want some too? Yeah. Huh. Yes. Well, we'll see about that. Definitely didn't have enough thread left. You want left. a pretty glass? A pretty glass. It's going to take all day. No, it's not. All right. One fancy eggnog coming up. Yes, please. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Everyone in the chat, please behave. <laughs> and also lurkers, behave. So I'm just threading up my needle for button number two. 
I had enough of that thread left the first one. I could have done just one eye, but I'm going to do button number two, just below it, about there. So I'm going to anchor thread on back. There we go. Okay, and sewing down bead number two. Yes, apparently eggnog was a, a thing for just the, the elites when it was first developed because only the rich had a lot of milk and eggs to spare. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, so that's button number two on. I'm gonna just, I think I've got just enough thread slack here that I can knot my thread twice. Oh yeah, cutting it close, but I can do it. Oh, that's a good sound. Little ASMR nutmeg. very important that you do the shaking properly yes I don't see I don't see the booty shaking that mister <laughs> all right eyes and buttons are sewn on all right I'm gonna grab my um, pipe cleaners um, just so I can show you how to make a couple of pipe cleaner uh, candy canes so even if you're not using candy canes you can get the pipe cleaner you can get the same effect with pipe cleaners one second guys I got to dive into the craft cupboard which means moving a lot of yarn. <laughs> Aha! All right, I've got these, and I've got these. Pipe cleaners, if you're wondering where to find pipe cleaners, aren't these merry looking things? I just love them. Um, Dollar Store, I think, is where I got both of these packages. Walmart carries them, again, in the kids' crafting section. Never overlook the kids' crafting section. Oh, are you serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, oh. This is the Christmas week. Oh, my gosh. I even got it all over you. You got it all over me and the, and the thing. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Woo! A, a freshly rinsed fancy glass. <laughs> Eggnog and whipped cream. Holy cow. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's good. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> Woohoo! Yum! Alright, so pipe cleaners. Um, definitely in the dollar store in the craft section. Kids crafting section in Walmart or department stores. Obviously available online. They come in a bazillion colors, and I'm going to make. So I'm gonna take a couple of white ones. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Um, and I'm going to use a couple of red ones. You could mix three colors together if you wanted, but I'm just going to go with the simple ones to start. Um, you look at like a regular candy cane has pretty gentle twists, so you don't want to twist it too tightly, but you just basically hold them together and get the top part kind of twisted together. There we go. And then just gradually spin them together. This will take you like all of three seconds. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. So, so simple. And then you've got your own little candy canes that uh, won't go bad, won't break. Sugar-free candy canes. And if you're shipping these in the mail, um, then you've totally got, uh, they're lighter than regular candy canes. You can put them, you can put them through the mail. So they're not gonna break or anything in transit. There you go, instant candy cane. And then I'm going to just crank this down into a nice little candy cane shape. I might just turn these little ends up on themselves. There we go. And I'll do the same thing down here. I'm just turning the ends in just so that the, the little pokey bits at the end don't want to poke me. Plus, this looks kind of cute. <laughs> there. A 
kind of Zeus-ish. Zeus, Dr. Zeus-ish. So there we go. There's a candy cane. That's really cute. He even looks like he's got little hands. <laughs> and I'll do number two. There we go. And I'm going to twist the bottoms up like I just did because it sort of helps to keep the little sharp ends from poking. There we go. Same thing up here. Eggnog with cognac. Now we're talking. That sounds amazing. There. A couple of little candy canes. That's cute. Okay, so there you go. Pipe cleaner candy canes. Easy peasy. Um, now he needs a little nose and a mouth, and then we can stitch the whole thing together. So I'm going to do his nose first. I just need a little length of orange yarn. You could use embroidery floss here. Can I just say, like, super well done with those non-edible candy canes? Thank you. You like those? They look That's a fantastic idea. That Not my idea. I, I have to... Uh, I'm going to post this. A couple people made these... And it sent me photos at oh, the okay. shop. Well, so I and I know I posted one, and I'm so sorry I can't remember who the first person was that sent it to I me. I love it. But um, we've got a couple now. I'll make sure that I, I share the photos again um, afterwards hey. because uh, they they just look so they look perfectly normal. Like they look great. I, now I've curled up my bottoms. They didn't do that, so they look even more candy cane-ish. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> It's such a nice alternative, and if you don't want to, to bother with the candy canes, these these will last forever. The sugar in this uh, drink is making my head explode. Mm. How's that eggnog? That's so good. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Woo. There is a lot of sugar in eggnog. Yep, that's a lot of sugar. That's my, my sugar intake for two days. Woo, yeah. woo. Goodness gracious. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to put these to the side again. His little nose, thread up your length of yarn or embroidery floss or whatever it is you're using. And I went from, so here's the center of his head. That's the very center of the cinch circle. I came down just below a little bit and then I kind of went over top on an angle, kind of covering the distance of about two stitches. So it's anchored just under the, right in between row one and row two of the head pretty much in the middle of his face. And then I just come down about the length of two stitches on an angle. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So about the middle of his face, yeah. Maybe just back a little bit. I'm gonna leave a little back on the other side of his head. And yeah, just to the side. Yeah, there we go just to sort of approximate that kind of little carrot look. And I'm just gonna go through the same two places twice. So you very, you need very little bit of, of, of yarn or thread or whatever you're using. So just twice, that gives you just the suggestion of an orange carrot nose. Easy peasy, knot the two ends together on the back. Don't knot them too tightly because you don't wanna pull your embroidery out of alignment. There we go. And then I'm gonna trim so that's it for the orange. There's his little nose. And then for his mouth, it's just one little um, strand of yarn. So just a little bit of, of, of uh, black yarn. We come out from one position, go back down a little bit where, so where you want the smile to start, come out where you want it to finish, go back through. And then we're just gonna do a little stay stitch in the middle. So I'm gonna grab a little length of black yarn Hello, Lucy. Lucy, another one of our gifting ninjas has swooped in with a gifted membership. Thank you so much, Lucy. And Tasha has won it. Welcome, Tasha. Congratulations. I'm going to make the same little smile. I kind of like it to look like he's sort of up to something. So it's like a little kind of crooked smile or a smirky smirk. 
I'm going to come out where I want this smile to start, leave a little bit of yarn on the back, go down where I back through the yarn where I want it to finish. So I'm kind of going and I'm sort of following the, the little ridge in between row two and row three of the head. And then in order to get it to stay put, let me get that out of the way, I'm going to come out in between, right in the middle of where that little stitch is. And I'm going to come out, hop over top of the stitch of the mouth and go right back down through the exact same place that I came out of. So same little spot and then make a tight, tiny little stitch, and that will keep his little smile in place. And that's all you've got to do. Again, knot both ends together, trim what's left, and that's the embroidery of the nose and the mouth done. Easy peasy. All right, so that's all of the decor done. Now we just need to put his two halves together, add his hat, and add his candy canes. So I'm going to thread up the long tail I left on the side two. And this is the right side. I want it facing out. This is the right side. I also want it facing out. So I'm going to flip it upside down. So I put the two wrong sides together. And now we're going to sew all the way up to about the bottom of row five skip a spot, go all the way around the head, skip the same spot on the other side, and then come all the way back down. So we leave two little shoulder spaces open for our candy canes, and the whole bottom stays open. Yarn Crazy Debbie Do <laughs> with a super sticker. Thank you so much, Debbie. <laughs> our little our little happy rockin' pair. I love it. It's uh, definitely a party here at the Jade and Stitches show today. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yum. Okay, so I'm just going to hold my two pieces together. If you find it easier to just sort of like um, connect them and put them in place with a pin or a clip, then you can do that too. Oh my gosh, I just missed that. Hang on one second, everybody. I want to make sure I say thank you to whoever just picked up a pattern at our shop. That was Lori. Lori, thank you so much. Lori's just picked up a pattern at the Etsy shop. Thank you so much, Lori. Okay, you can do that if you find it helps, or you can just hold them like I'm going to do. And we're going to do a running stitch. Running stitch is just out, across, down, cross, up, across, down. So just think like you're uh, a little, um, what, I'm trying to think of what that kind of looks like. It looks like the top edge of, of like if you see the, the edge of a stamp or the, the top edge of a, of a castle turret. So I'm going to come through the bottom corner of what was row 10, making sure I'm always kind of pausing to make sure my pieces don't move. And then I'm just going to keep my stitches as close to the edge as possible, making sure I get through both the top or the side one and side two. And I'm just going to go in and out, in and out, all the way up. When you get up to about the open shoulder area, that's like row four, row five, anywhere in here. I'm just going to come back down through, but just before that little area. You're just leaving a space big enough for your, your cane to come through. I'm just going to go into the inside and then hop up to the sort of the top of, of the neck area. So I've not gone through both pieces. I've just brought my yarn to the inside, popped up, and now I'm going to start stitching all the way around and now around the head so all the way around the head it's really easy i'm going to pair up all of those little stitches making sure i get through both of them now you can do every set every other set it's up to you you're not really going to see these stitches um, 
I'm just going back and forth through a pair, so down and then up through the next set and then down through the next set and so on all the way around. And because we're using the same color, you know, you're not going to see any stitching. Nice and easy. I love the running stitch. It's very simple. And uh, just a reminder, I'm going to try to make timestamps for today's tutorial. So if you have to come back later, um, I'm going to timestamp when different things start. So when we make the body, when we make the hat, uh, when we do sort of the embroidery and the bead sewing, and then when we put the whole thing together, just so if you need to see like one piece versus the whole thing, you don't have to fast forward through it. I'll have those little timestamps down below. And we'll see how that works. I will also remember to grab the photos of um, the two sets of, I think it's gingerbread men, um, photographs that I have from the community members who made them with uh, candy cane pipe cleaner candy canes and I'll post those too just so if you want to see what that looks like um, they're so cute all right so I'm finished going all the way around the head I'm going to bring my yarn in just to the inside and pop back out a minute later just a little bit lower so that I can leave this shoulder area open so you see over here I've got an area open on this side that's just big enough for a candy cane to kind of pop through I want to do the same thing on this side Nancy! Thank you so much, Nancy. Nancy picked up a pattern at the shop. Thank you so much. And I'm going to continue that little running stitch all the way back down the side. So side number two. Just going in and out, making sure I get both pieces. Just keeping my, my stitches as close to the edge as possible. And that is it. I'm going to leave the whole bottom open. I'm going to bring my yarn to the inside. I'm going to make a little tiny knot on the inside. Just once. Just like a, I was fastening off a regular crochet. There we go. Make it nice and tight. And then I'm just going to weave my tail in back and forth underneath some of those stitches along the inside edge of row 10. And I'll trim whatever's left. Careful not to snip my actual crochet. So there, his little body's all put together now. I've got two little spaces on either side for at his shoulders, right for the ready for the candy canes. And now all we want to do is put on the little hat. So the last thing we do is add the hat and his little hanger. And I like to put his hat kind of to the side you could put it right on top too, just to the side, on top, whatever you like. All you're going to do is just take that hat that we made and you're squishing it flat. You're squishing it flat and you're going to make sure that when you're sewing it to the top, you're just going back and forth through, you're just grabbing a couple of the top stitches of his head. So maybe if you're putting it on the side like me, just these two. If you're putting it right on the top, these two. It's whatever, wherever you're putting his little hat down. And you can sort of sew all the way through his hat and the head of the snowman going in one direction, then turn around and come back. And that just makes sure that it's, it's really on there. So I'm going to fold my hat in half. I'm going to squeeze it on top of his head. Mm -hmm. And I know the first stitch, I'm going to bring the, my yarn kind of through to the, to the inside where I can start sewing. I don't want it to be, I don't want to sort of change the shape of my hat. So I'm just going to prepare my yarn so that it's kind of closer. 
There we go. Most of the stitches in that hat, as you attach it to his head, are going to be through the, the main hat part, not the brim. So I'm going to poke my yarn through to the middle, grab a stitch on his head, going through both sort of edges of the, so I'm going right through his head, and then I'm going to go back up inside the head or the hat and bring it out sort of opposite where it started. And pause. Yes, I think that's perfect. I like that angle. Now I'm going to go sort of hop over, still just doing a running stitch, back through the hat, back through the head of my snowman, like this, and then back up in the hat and through the hat. Give it a nice little tight. There we go. What's going on? Looks like a little bowler cap. And if I think I can do one more, I'll do one more. So in through the hat, through the head of the snowman, back up through the top of the hat, just using kind of coming out the edge of the brim where the brim meets the rest of the hat. And if I really want to make sure it's on there, I'm going to turn around and go all the way back. So I'm going to, I came through the hat and the head, and now I'm going to go back the same way. So making sure that I get through the hat and through the head, making sure it comes out through the head of the snowman, and then back up out the edge of the hat, and then back down through basically the same place on the edge of the snowman and back out the top. And I feel like, yeah, that's on there pretty good. So once I've finished with that, I bring my yarn through to the underside of my hat. I'm just gonna make a little knot, wave the tail in a couple times and trim any excess. And since it's black I'm dealing with, weaving it back and forth through the hat a few times, we'll make that little bit of yarn tail disappear. It won't want to undo. There we go, nice and tight. And that's that. Trim, careful not to sew. Knot the ends together. I like to make sure that is a nice tight knot. There we go. I might uh, take, I'm gonna take my little lighter to that later just so I don't have this constant fraying end on my little ribbon. And now I'm going to take the folded part. I'm gonna go right through the very top middle of the uh, snowman. And if that is the edge, so I've sort of done it with the edge of the hat on these guys. Um, I could do it right through the middle here. I wonder, yeah, you know what? Sure. I'm going to go through the middle, top middle of his head. If you do his little hat, um, and you want to kind of attach it to the edge of the hat, let's say you're using a black ribbon like I did here, you're doing exactly what I'm doing here. You're just running the needle right through the stitches. Take the folded part of the ribbon and pull that part through the top of the head and then grab, reach through the loop, grab the knotted end, and there you go, through the shoulder. <laughs> and then number side, number two. And then they just sort of hang there, like little arms and legs. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love these. We had, I think I, the first, when we did the, the gingerbread tutorial, I said we had felt versions of these when I was a kid. So we had little felt kind of hangers for the candy canes, and I, Thought it would be so much fun to try and make some <laughs> using using uh, yarn instead. I love the way these have turned out. So there's our little snowman. Um, I've got uh, slightly larger hats on these guys. I may have made these a little bit bigger, but I think I like the smaller one. Um, if you want a slightly bigger hat, you can use eight um, stitches instead of six, um, and then you'll have 16 stitches all the way around instead of 12. I like the smaller one because it's a little easier to attach to the top of his head. Uh, but you know what, you can play with the size of his hat. If you want a slightly taller one, you can do like three or four rows of single crochet in the round before you add his little, his little brim. So you can change the height of his hat, you can change the width of his hat, and um, that's a very flexible little part of the pattern. 
And of course, you can always use a couple of <laughs> pipe cleaners to make your own candy cane out of. Hello, Debbie again. Debbie has upgraded her membership to Merino. Thank you so much, Debbie. Are there any questions about today's little snowman pattern? I love these. These are so cute. <laughs> While I check, check out the chat, I'm going to sip this lovely eggnog. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Big cheers to everybody. Oh, that is so good. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's sweet. <laughs> It's like 70% sugar. Catherine wants to see what the pipe cleaners look like. Sure. I'll take out my little candy canes. I'll slip these in. Feet first. It's like trying to dress a toddler. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. He looks like he means business. He's got little fists. <laughs> little candy canes. Oh my gosh. Now I rolled up my bottoms because I don't want to be poked, but you can leave them flat like these guys if you want. Um, you can also roll them out the other direction. So it looks like he's kind of Charlie doing would this. like to see the fancy glass because from the top, we, we only see the top of it. Um, I don't know if I can turn it sideways. I still have it full of, of stuff. I guess but you're just gonna have to chug it down. It's uh, it's it's cut. It's cut. Um, these uh, these are our um, are these are this is uh, these are our wedding glasses, aren't they? There we go. You can kind of see it there. Can you tilt a little bit more? <laughs> Keep <I> tilting. <laughs> It's, uh, they're very pretty. Take my word for it. <laughs> they make a nice... There we go. It's hard to see it with the drink in there, but... Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yum. Good stuff. Fa la 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 la. So there he is with, uh, with homemade candy canes versus real candy canes. I kind of, I kind of like both. <laughs> And now he matches his little ribbon. I kind of like the crossed legs, too. It's funny. Yeah, they, he's just they, chilling. They both look excellent. I mean, he's got little feet, too. He could even, like, you know, da 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 Yeah, tap dancer. Little, little tap dancer. Da -da 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 -da. Love it. Little That's ballet, so cute. Little, little ballet dance. Um, we've got uh, a gingerbread man, <laughs> and we have a, a reindeer uh, that we already did with the candy canes. So uh, we'll link links to those in the description box down below. So if you want to make the gingerbread man... Uh, uh, or make it a gingerbread girl, add a little bow to the, to the, to the head. Um, or if you want to make the reindeer that we did a couple weeks ago, we'll make sure all those links are down below. Uh, the patterns for all three are up in our Etsy shop and our snowman is today's sneaky sale. So thank you to everybody who's picked one up and I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of people were asking for this particular tutorial. I'm going to timestamp all the different parts of today's, uh, pattern in the description box so if you need to come back later i'll have all of those specific areas all ready for you to kind of check out um including how to make these cute little candy canes out of pipe cleaners and i guess tomorrow we are going to make a candy cane holder angel so we're going to make an angel tomorrow um so if you're planning on being here and you want to make one along with us i'm going to use the same hook seven size seven or four and a half millimeter uh you're going to want some candy canes or pipe cleaner candy canes a little hanger and um, some beads for the eyes, but we are going to crochet most of, of um, her little outfit, including her wings. So you can hit your stash up, uh, size four medium weight yarn, and any colors that you might want to do a little angel in. And uh, we will do that tomorrow. If, um, if anybody's got questions about today's pattern, you're more than welcome to leave them down in the description box. I should say under the description box in the comment section. And we do try to get to comments at least once a week, sometimes even twice when we have the time. Um, otherwise, feel free to pop into the shop if you have a question about the pattern and we're happy to help you out there too. Um, Mr. Stitches, is there anything you'd like to add before uh, we some, call it for today? Uh, we've had a few suggestions, adding um, bells or a neck scarf. Um, 
some people earlier were were suggesting uh, Santa and a Grinch. A Grinch would be funny. Oh my gosh, a Grinch! Uh, yep. Oh yes. Oh um, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna yeah, be busy this afternoon. Uh, an elf pattern. An elf, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yes, um, I love all of those ideas. Okay, I, uh, well, tomorrow we're going to make an angel. I'm going to see what else I can come up with this afternoon, and um, we'll so just see how an tomorrow angel, goes. And then maybe we'll try and come up with something else. Um, just a reminder, this pattern is on sale today. Mm -hmm. The snowman candy cane. I really like the um, pipe cleaners. I think I, I almost with the like the legs. I is, almost is like the pipe cleaners. Fun, I almost humorous. like the pipe cleaners more than uh, more than more than the candy canes. Yeah, it makes them a lot lighter too, eh? Lighter and uh, funnier. <laughs> yeah, and funnier. <laughs> you make yeah, he's look, got more character. You could make it look like he's running or jumping he's, or something he's got so much character yeah. oh my gosh all right he's everybody definitely the cool the cool cat of the three he's he's sure. the yeah he's the he's the uh the, he's the more um the more animated one yeah um everyone we will Healthier, see you says charlie <laughs> we will we will see you back here tomorrow as long as you don't eat them yeah yes, you don't want to eat them oh my gosh uh snoopy that's a good idea oh my a little, gosh a little snoopy. dog character That'd be cute. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The, po the opportunity, the options are endless. Endless. Um, okay, we're gonna make the angel tomorrow. Um, I love all these additional ideas. I'm gonna see what I can come up with this afternoon too, um, in terms of like how to kind of switch it up for these different characters. Uh, in the meantime, pop in tomorrow if you're free to hang out with us again live. We're gonna be 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Um, and uh, until then, have a fantastic day. If you've got pictures you want to share with us and or the rest of the community, you can pop into the Etsy shop, click on message seller or an existing conversation thread, and you can attach photos that way. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Anything to add, Mr. and Stitches? No, that's it. All right. <laughs> we'll see you then tomorrow, have everybody. Have a good day, everybody.